Hey guys, Dusty Baker of Costumers Bison. Welcome back to the channel. Got a story that involves these guys. It's not something you typically want to see when you start to pull in to your property. <laughs> Yeah, so basically, uh, <laughs> I want to share a story with you guys. Good morning, Haas. Yeah, you can see it is a cold morning here. I need more clothes on. I'm a little chill right now, but basically, I want to share this little story with you guys. So my wife and I, when you pull onto our property, you have to, you kind of top a hill. And when you top that hill and start coming down, you start to see our property. And uh, one of the first things that I saw was, as I saw Big Joe and his ladies in this corral, which is typically where the Dakota Pure Calves are. Um, and I said, you know, oh crap. I told my wife and uh, I said, uh-oh, we got a problem. And uh, as we kept driving, I saw a gate open. And uh, my first thought was, oh crap, where are these guys? Where are the calves at? Uh, because there's no telling where they could be. And so, uh, <laughs> That's just not something you definitely don't want to uh, deal with uh, when you come to your property. We came down and luckily what had happened was, Haas, you trying to bust the ice, buddy? Luckily, it wasn't as bad as we thought, but what had happened was is uh, these guys, somehow the gate had got open um, and uh, these calves were out in the pasture <laughs> hanging out. Um, they had switched places with Big Joe and his crew, and um, they were hanging out, living the dream, um, and Big Joe and them were actually in here, where when I first brought them over here, this is where they actually were, was in this corral, this big corral where these calves had been hanging out. They actually didn't even mingle together. I'm sure they did at some point, but their social status and their social class already, which has been... It's been set. It's been fit since I brought them here, and obviously, big and obviously, Big Joe and them have their own social uh, team, family, whatever you want to call it. And so, <laughs> it was actually not that bad. Um, but we got them separated, and we got them back in both places. So, here's how it all went down. If Hoss will come in, we may get lucky. Come on, Hoss. Come on, buddy. We got two in here. Come on, calves. Three. Come on. Four. Come on. Five. Six. Four. Six. Seven. Eight. We got five stubborns sitting over there. Tell you what, I'm gonna leave these guys right here. Maybe the rest will follow. Yep, here comes one. Usually that's a good sign. Okay, here they all come. Good. There they go. Got all of them back. Luckily, they just wanted to come back in here because they're used to being in here. Thank gosh for feed, too. Now, let's see what's going on here. Well, the chain is still on, so I'm not sure if I didn't wrap it very good and didn't hook it or what, but um, I'm going to, uh, I definitely gotta put a lock around this somehow. Pretty, pretty evening. 
That didn't take much, but um, we got them. So this is what I normally do. I run it through here and then I hook it right there. But obviously something happened, they bumped it or knocked this part loose, which is easy to do. And I've had that for months since I've had them in here. Um, but I need to wrap it and chain it and actually have a latch on it, obviously, just in case. But now I've got the big herd in here. I got them caught with some cubes. And uh, now I can just actually let them out right here and they can exit. So I'm going to go attempt to do that real quick. Let's go ahead and open up this gate. We just got really lucky that they um, didn't mingle together. They, <laughs> they stayed separate. I found a chain with the latch, extra security. I should have, this is a lesson learned. Uh, this could have been a lot worse. Um, but if you're new to bison, always do this just in case. We normally do this on, on everything, but uh, basically being lazy just by doing this and not having this for extra security. So that's my fault. But now I'm gonna open this up. There's a couple of yearling heifers right here. I'm going to go ahead and open this up and get them out. This is an exit for them. little heifer there's big joe huh you shouldn't be in here Get back. You guys are trapping me. So the big Joe herd is not supposed to be in here, obviously, but got the Dakota Pier calves separated back basically in the big corral, but uh, I had to catch big Joe on them to hold them so I could get the Dakota Pier calves caught. And um, uh, got a gate over there now open on the side, so I just need to run them out and they'll be out in the big pasture basically. So um, I think they miss being in here because they got food all the time. So me and Maya are gonna try to push them and get them back out, out into the, the main pasture where they belong. So maybe give them some hay or something. Let's go, shoo, 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 let's go. Maya, come on, go. Let's go. 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 Testy with me. No tag. Everybody else has left you. Get. Come on, Maya. Maya, let's go. Come on. Come on, Maya. Uh, 
That's where we wanted him. Come on, Big Joe. Get out of there, big fella. Go get him. Go, go. Let's go. Let's go. Good girl. Good girl. He did good. He didn't do much, but he did good. Okay. Thank gosh. Here we go. Big Joe Hurd. Back where they belong. Dakota Cavs. Here. <laughs> oh, what a mess. What a mess. Glad, uh, glad we got him situated. Oh, now you want to work. I wouldn't do that. Come here. That's a smart decision. Come here. Uh -uh. Come on. All right. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Gate is chained. Now we're gonna shut this one back. Really excited about this 32 cow. She's a nice cow from the Texas herd I purchased. Um, and uh, she's really big. She she could have a calf in April, um, just by the looks of her. She's, uh, she's pretty big and plumpy, and she's pretty, she's one of my favorites. Tougher than it looks, isn't it? Yeah, I normally don't do it this way, but I thought since I had it in the air. Hard to unroll. My flesh is surprising. Are you cold? Mm -hmm. cold? Yeah, maybe just a little bit. Well, we got lucky. That's all. Luckily, they didn't just come together. Instead, it came together and mingled around, and they're not here. We would have never got them. Maya, no. Maya. Not have been a disaster. Joe looks pretty. Yeah, yeah. All right. Can you open that? Mm-hmm. Be careful, though.
back here. See, Mama? She's filming the bison. Yeah, so, so basically, as you can tell, we just got lucky that they didn't mingle together and they didn't basically um, kind of congregate together. Because if they had congregated together, we'd have had a bigger issue for sure, trying to uh, separate them. But luckily, they stayed in their own uh, in their own packs and whatnot. And uh, so that's the great thing about these animals is they do have their own hierarchy system and their social status has been set with these 11 calves and uh, the eight big Joe crew. So um, luckily my wife and I got it taken care of. And we got the big Joe uh, crew in, actually in this specific corral right here. We brought them in with some feed and then I got them locked up and then I was able to get the Dakota pure calves around back into the area. And I just kind of did a little one in, one group in, one group out sort of deal. And uh, luckily, Hoss here, my guy, um, led the way because he's the, always the first one to feed. And uh, luckily, he, he came in for some feed. So, also, Hoss broke, Hoss broke his horn, as you can tell there. I don't know what. He knocked it off. And uh, look at him. He's getting used to me. He doesn't like Maya very much at all. Maya. He's going to go after Let's go take a look here. <laughs> Maya, I don't think Hoss likes you. I don't think he likes you at all. <laughs> that's awesome. Hey, that's what he's supposed to do. I'll give him I'll give him props for that. Oh, you better get out of here. She don't here. Okay. She'll go back over there and bug him again. Maya, he doesn't like you. Anyways, he broke his horn, so uh, unfortunate. I think he got it caught in the metal um, somewhere here in the pins and whatnot. Uh, they have a they have a pin right here, the one I built. I showed you it's a skid steer, and then they have a bigger pin. So we're, we've got him up here right now just for uh, the winter time, and then when that green grass hits, which is what we're doing right now is we're working on fence, and you've seen some of my videos of pushing uh, the cedar and whatnot. We've got a lot of that to burn now, and so... Um, but we're going to start that fence hopefully pretty soon with Richard and um, in the spring we'll be able to rotate and get these guys out on pasture. We'll be able to get these guys out on some pasture which is where they belong. So um, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. You know sometimes stuff happens like that and uh, luckily uh, we were able to get those calves back in and get the Big Joe herd out and uh, basically switch places where they were the first time. So. Thank you guys for watching us, and uh, hope you guys are staying warm out there and staying safe. See you guys later.